using the move command in Illustrator. So when we use the move command, we're able to move an object a certain amount in a horizontal or vertical direction. And when we do move it, we call that an offset. The offset is the distance that an object is moved or copied from a starting location to an ending location. So I'm going to go ahead and select my rectangle tool, click on the artboard. When I do a single click, uh, I'm going to be able to see my dialog box so I can specify the exact dimensions of my square. So I'm going to do a half an inch, 0.5 in the width and the height. If I were to have this linked, that means that it's going to be a perfect square. Click OK. Here's my little square and I'm going to have it uh, with no fill. So I'm going to, I'm sorry, no stroke. So I'm going to have the stroke come to the front, click no. Fill, and I'm going to fill this with red. So I'm going to go to my swatches and choose my red. Okay, so now if I want to move this, I use my selection tool and select it. I'll just position it up here. And I'm going to navigate to my move uh, command where I will then see my move dialog box. So go under object and transform right at the top and move. So this is my move dialog box and you can see there's already been a jump that has happened because of some prior numbers that were in there. So I'm going to make sure my preview is checked that way I can see what's happening. Now this command is really the most effective for moving an object at precise offsets. That is to utilize this top portion of horizontal and vertical distance. So the horizontal is the position obviously left to right, vertical is top to bottom. And so what we have to remember in Illustrator is that this point right here is my zero, zero point. So if I'm going to put in a positive number here, we'll just do um, a, a large amount so you can see. Let's do two inches and I'm going to press tab. Remember if I press enter, uh, it will apply it right away. So by pushing this, um, oh, and let's do this, let's make this be a zero. So a positive number in the horizontal will move it right. A positive number in the vertical will move it down. So um, you have to remember that um, how those work. A negative number in the horizontal moved it too far off of my stage. Let's just do one. There it is. So negative moves to the left, positive to the right, negative to the left. Let's do the same thing with vertical. So let's do this zero. And this time let's do a negative one. Um, and actually what happens is if I scroll a little bit, which it's not going to let me do, it's actually sitting up here um, because vertical went up. So it's kind of a little bit off what you would think, where you think it would go. All right, so if I wanted to, I can do a 0.5, a positive, and a vertical being zero, and it will place it right next to where I just had my previous. I can see sort of my ghost image here of my previous box. An alternative way to move is actually specify your distance along with your angle. So these are kind of two different approaches. The top one obviously is used a little bit more. So I click OK and there's my move. Let's do this one more time. Object and transform and move. Now the quick key, control shift and M, control shift M. So this time it remembers, it's sticky, it remembers my commands, but if I choose copy, it makes a copy rather than picking it completely up and moving it. Now I have a duplication or a copy. And if I just continue to do this, um, I, can, I can do a transform again and it will keep creating those boxes. So I can utilize something really nice. I'm going to delete this one and create a pattern very quickly. If I were to turn this one to black and now if I select both of these and if I wanted to um, put this in a precise location, let's just bring this up to my zero, zero point. I'm going to do a control R to show rulers that might help you understand positive and negative values. With both of these selected, I'm going to do object and transform and move. And again, it puts it off. Let's do one and one, actually zero in the vertical.
and you can see how it just moved it right over if I do a copy and now um, I transform this again remember control D is the transform again and another control D and now I have the start to a pattern and I would be able to select this whole entire row do an object transform and move and this time zero in the horizontal but in the vertical let's do a one okay so that will jump it let's do a 0.5 these boxes are actually 0.5 I'm pressing tab just to kind of preview what's going to happen here and choose copy while it's still selected I can flip this under the transforms again I can reflect this and it happened to remember, uh, know the right axis here in the vertical axis. It flipped it, right? This was horizontal, which I don't see anything, but vertical flips it on the horizontal there. And I click OK. And so now I have the start. And now again, I can select all of this, this time copy and move it down. Now, another way that I can do a move is under the window transform panel. So under window and transform panel I do have an XY location here which will allow me to move it. I'm not allowed to make a copy here however. This is just a straight move to a new XY location. So the move command in Illustrator.